Hello, it's Katie Parker. Today we're going to be making one of these flower motifs. So these could be used as a pendant, you could join them together, you can use them as earrings. They're just a really beautiful motif to make and the petal beads just um, work perfectly with them. So we'll be making the actual flower, we'll be adding also some teacup beads for that extra detail which I think are beautiful on, the, on this, this flower design. And we'll be using um, this blue colour of the, the kit, the, the blue option. So when you're looking at your um, petal beads just to start with, we want to be using them for the for this design, for the petals with the dip in them going on the inwards. Now some of them will be, this, this is like a two-tone um, colour, so this is kind of the metallic side and then this is kind of a glassy side. So it's up to you whether you just want to mix and match and just um, work with them whichever way around. But I've picked um, my five petals so they're all kind of the same colour way. Okay, so we're going to make a start. I've got a size 10 beading needle. I've got some uh, crystal fire line and a stop bead on the end there. So it's just a little stop bead just to stop my bead from falling off. Okay, so we're going to start by adding one of the large petal beads first. I'm going to come up through what I'm calling the back of it because the dip is at the front. So we're going to come up through the back of that one. Then add one of your smaller ones coming up through the back of that one because these have got the same dip. So they'll sit nicely together like so. And then I'm going to add two size 11 seed beads and then I'm going to add the next set of petals. So this time because I'm adding the next set I'm coming downwards. So I'm coming down through the dip side and again with the petal, the larger petal. Okay, so what we want to be able to see is these are going to sit nicely together next to each other like so there we go so that's kind of the, the way we're looking at it so we've got two two seed beads and in the middle and then our petals okay so then we're going to pick up our beads add another two of our size 11 seed beads and then come back up through the pet the first petals not through that stop bead. Okay, so if you can see there, we've formed a sort of circle all the way around all those beads. Okay, so we can pull that in a little bit. Don't worry about being too tight at this stage. And then we're going to come across the next set of two seed beads so that we can work our way down the next petals and be in a position to add our next set of petals. So we're going to continue doing that until we've got all our petals added. So I'm just going to start adding two seed beads. Then we're going to we're adding from the back this time. So coming up the back of the larger petal and the back of the smaller petal. And then adding another two seed beads letting everything drop down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down through the front of that set of seed beads, so the last set that we just added and that will create that circle again, you can see that there and bring that in. Then we just need to move on so we're in a position so we to add our next lot so we come through the bottom set of the size 11 seed beads. like so, and then up through the next set of petals. And we're in a position to add our third, sorry, fourth set of petals. So adding two of our size 11 seed beads. This time we're adding down from the front. So we're gonna add our small petal first, coming down towards the dip, and then our larger petal. Letting them come down and then adding two seed beads, just move that tail out of the way and coming back up the next set of the last set of petals that we just added like so. So now we've got four petals so you could make um, flowers that just have four petals because they do still fit together quite nicely like that but I like an odd number. So I'm gonna come through the next set of seed beads that we added. 
give that a slight tug. Don't worry about it being too tight together at this stage because it all tightens up at the very end anyway. I'm going to come back down through these petals like so. So I'm coming down through them, that, that pe those petals that we just added and we're going to add our last set of petals. So two seed beads again. I'm coming up through the back so I'm going to turn those so they're back ways. So I'm going to add the large petal first, then the smaller petal. Just pull them down my thread a little bit. Then adding my two seed beads and coming through the set of petals that we just added. Okay, so now my thread's at the back. I've got all my petals added. We just need to join these together. So just, I'm just gonna turn this over. Like I say, it will still feel like it's quite loose at the moment. So I'm gonna turn this over. I need to proceed through the next set of size 11s. And then we're just gonna come down through our last set of petals that we added. So I'm coming down through there, just so you can see what's going on at the back. So we still need to add a little, um, those two seed beads to, to continue the pattern all the way around. So I'm just going to turn this around again, pick up my two seed beads, letting those drop down, and then I need to come through this petal here. So I'm just going to pick this up again, coming through those petals there. That's going to bring this together a bit more. Still feels loose at the moment, don't worry about that. Now just accidentally I've come through my stop bead so I just need to take this thread back a little bit. So just be careful you don't do that. There we go. And I haven't caught the thread so that's good. So just be careful you don't, uh, because you need to remove that stop bead at the end anyway. So picking up another two C beads and coming back through and up to the top again making that last connection so we've got those all the way around. Don't worry that they feel loose, I know it feels a bit weird at first. Okay, so now I just wanna be back at the back again just to work on the back first. So I'm going through the next set of double seed beads that I can see that are closest to me and then coming back through to the back again. Okay, because I just wanna bring these together at the back first. So, all we're going to do is run our thread around all these seed beads. So coming through in sets of two and pulling a little bit closer together. You'll see and make sure you're missing that, that stop bead, which is why I used a different colour so that you know um, that that's your stop bead and not one of your seed beads that you want. So pulling this together and you'll see straight away you'll feel it kind of all firming up. And you need to get all the way around to where we started and close that gap on this last one. So there we go. So you can see that's brought all that together now and it feels much firmer. So now we can go through to the front. So we're going to go through one of the petals and up through the front. And now we're in a position where we can add our little cut beads. Okay, so we're going to add cut beads and pull this together all at the same time. So I'm going to come through the next set of size 11s just so that I'm in a, a nice position to coming out of the 11s. So, and now I'm going to add a cut bead. So I'm going to add it by coming down through the dome because I want it to sit this way. Let that drop down. I'm going to add one of my kind of pinky peachy coloured um, size 11s. I'm going to miss that size 11 and come back through the dome and through the next set of seed beads. So I'll just bring that up to the camera so you can see that there. So my beads on my thread and I'm coming through the next set of seed beads as well. And that means that when I pull this in, I can just give that a little bit of a tug and it will sit where I want it to sit. So I'll do that again. So adding the teacup bead through the dome, through the top of the dome, adding my alternate colour of seed bead, 
making sure that that's dropped down but I miss the seed bead so don't go through that seed bead miss the seed bead come back through the teacup bead and through the next set of size 11s and pull that through and that will start tightening that up there and again through the dome add a seed bead let that drop down miss the seed bead and down back through the teacup bead and through the next set of 11s and pull and each time you give it that pull it, it kind of firms everything up again but we will be going through all those seed beads again in a second anyway just for a bit of extra security so adding a teacup bead adding our size 11 bead letting that drop down just making sure you miss the teacup the seed bead then back through the teacup bead and through and our last one teacup bead size 11 letting those drop down and miss the, the seed bead and through that 11 through the teacup bead sorry and then the next set of 11s and then just to tighten this all up even further what you can do is catch all these 11s all the way around missing the teacup bead so just coming all the way around just that inner circle just to make sure that everything's pulled in really nice and tightly so just picking up and making sure you don't catch any of the teacup beads like so and this will just really finish it off and bring everything all back together again so sorry for my thumb covering it almost all the way around make sure you're coming around the right sides of the teacup beads as well with your thread there we go that's the last one so through them last so we're coming through all that little section there and then through to the back so you're just going to go straight through down through one of those petals again to the back and then you can work around and either tie off there or you can create a little loop so just a really basic little loop like I did on this one so just a little loop at the back or the the, the other necklace that I've made that you'll see the picture of I've just done a um, right angled weave sections in between each one and join them together that way so there we go that's our flower complete and ready to be used however you want to use them so thank you very much and I will see you again very soon